I tune out. I'm like, I'm going to sleep. I'm not getting in the middle of this fight. I had been crying constantly over my son. I knew um, Teresa really didn't like me at that point. I, I was just like, what am I doing here? Like, I don't yeah. want to be part of this anymore. And I tuned out. And then after stripper, because people don't realize the, the end of the finale of fourth season reunion was the night before they taped the season three reunion. So we had already filmed a complete season of right. the fourth season the night before the third season reunion. But it was some, was after, it San Cubana? It was San Cubana. San Cubana. It was so when after, I called Joe the Midget. Okay. That was the night before. They had to go to the reunion first thing in the morning after that. Yeah. So I, I remember. like had a complete, I was like, this show is disgusting. Yeah. I can't believe where they're going with this. Um, you know, this is awful. Like, I don't want to be part of this anymore. And I thought I quit the show. I wasn't going to the reunion. I'm like, screw all of you guys. You guys all suck. Yep. I hate everyone. I, you know, I don't like Teresa. I'm not going to pretend like we were friends at the end yep. of season three. Teresa and I were friends. I, I couldn't fake it and pretend like everything is good. Cause at that time they weren't breaking the fourth wall. No. So it's like, how do I go in and pretend like it's all good when I'm like angry and then I'm disgusted and I'm, ups I just don't want this in my life. And then of course I realized I had one more year of my contract. So I had to live that out the next season. Uh, come back. I, I anyway, that. But, um, but then six season I quit, but then I came right. back for seven season for the money. But, right. um, but the, I, it was just a stressful time. I just didn't want to do it anymore. I mean, let's talk about, stripper, let's talk about stripper gate for one minute. Um, I'm going to go forward and then I'm going to go back with my question. Um, okay. Forward is forward is when you're sitting with Melissa, this is after stripper gate a couple of years later when you're back on the show and you're on mm -hmm. some kind of vacation uh, with the Gorgas. Um, I forget who else was at the table. You, when you, you jump up and you yell at Melissa, about her four nose jobs. I would like to clear something up because my name was brought up and you were trying to call me and I didn't answer. Why did you stand up? Was it about her nose jobs or was it to prove something else? What took place there? No, no. So, oh God, it, it, so it I kind know. of leads up to this, but like Melissa and I were friends. So I thought, yes. right. So she started getting weird with me when Producers were trying to push a friendship between Teresa and I. They were trying to get us to, to make up and be like yes. Lucy and Ethel like we used to be. And right. we were trying to work through that because, you know, Melissa was telling me how much she hated me, but yet Teresa was nice to my face a right. little bit on filming. So I didn't know what was true and what was not. And um, when I was telling Melissa, look, they want us to mend things, you know, whatever. She started getting really weird with me behind the scenes mm -hmm. about being friends. We went out the night before the Vermont trip. We filmed with, um, it didn't air, but we filmed like a triple date with like Dolores and somebody, Teresa and Joe, me and Chris. Okay. We had the best camera stopped, stopped rolling. We stayed there till like hours after filming, laughing right. our asses off, filming laughs, had the best time. Melissa's calling me, calling me, calling me. Cause her and I used to tell each other what she filmed during the day, right. what I filmed during the day, exchange stories. So then, um, I told her, so she called, I called her afterwards. I said, I told her what had happened. I said, we had the best time. She's like, what happened? Like nothing, like you guys didn't fight nothing. I said, no, I said, a matter of fact, it was a great evening. I said, we stayed long after we were laughing our asses off. It was actually enjoyable. And she's like, Jacqueline, don't trust it. She hates See? your guts. Don't no. trust it. She's like, you know, she hates you. And I said, well, you oh know what? You're probably God, right. Jacqueline. She, you're probably right. She's a good actress then. Cause she looked, she seemed even after filming, we were friendly. I said, right. but you know what? I don't care if she's going to be nice to me on camera. I'll be nice to her on camera. That's right. I'd rather do that than like fight with her on camera. So I'm That's fine right. That. We go to Vermont. Melissa's being coming at me a little bit, like on the bus being weird all of a sudden with me. Uh, and you know, I knew what she did to Kathy with Keely, you know, she would get Kathy to like bring up stuff on camera. And then when Kathy would bring it up, she would shoot her down on camera. Like she oh. was being protective or, you know, it was just so fake. So, so I fake. saw what she was doing to me. And I was just like, why is she treating me like this? I was so confused. Wow. So then watching the show later on, I also see her, she was behind the scenes planting seeds to the audience <laughs> with Teresa saying that I was jealous that they were making it. When <laughs> I knew right. the whole time, Melissa hated her guts. They never liked each other. I knew they didn't right. like each other. The whole time they jealous. never liked each other. I'm going I mean, in the I other room. I knew that. I wasn't, 
I wasn't, okay. I wasn't oh. jealous of anything to do with them. She oh. was the one jealous that producers were trying oh. to push a friendship between Teresa and I, but she went on and tried to change the narrative on camera, which was upsetting, right. but I didn't know that until later. So then we're at dinner and I know a lot of the conversation was cut out. I don't know everything that aired and what didn't air. I don't remember, but I know a lot of it was cut out. But right. The stripper gate thing came up. Now, Melissa knew, okay, so stripper gate, right before that night, we, you know how, like, we always know someone is going to be, uh, what, what's the word? Like, they're going to be the, the target. Or, or outed. Every, yeah, the target. So everybody at a finale, someone's going to be the target. It always 1,000%. We're all trying to figure out who's the target tonight. So, I, I don't remember for producer, someone told me that you and Teresa filmed at a salon earlier in the day. So I called okay. Melissa and I said, I said, um, I don't know what was filmed, but I know that that Kim and Teresa filmed at this salon during the day. Just so All right, now know. let me stop. The reason why Jacqueline didn't know is because I know Jacqueline's a really good person. And if I told Jacqueline what was going to happen, she might have said something. And I wanted it to go down the way I wanted it to go down. So Jacqueline knew nothing because she would have said something. Go ahead. So, yes, I knew nothing, but I was trying to figure it out who was the target. Right. Um, and then, and even like during filming, like some people were on the show. I mean, there was different times we were texting during the fashion yeah. show. People wondered what we were texting. I had texted Caroline because I think I heard from you told me Kim G was coming to the fashion show. Cause they said they invited her. They invited her. And I was like, Oh, Caroline's the target tonight because yeah. they were feuding at the time. Yeah. So I yep. was texting Caroline and Lauren. I'm like, ha ha, you're the target. Kim G's coming after you tonight. I can't, like, we were kind I of laughing can't. about it. Right. I thought she was the target. We were trying to figure it out the whole time. Yeah. Like, who's the target? Who's the target? Um, so you know, people were texting different things. So um, and then you text me. I said, come on, Kim. I'm like, is Caroline the target? Like, what's going on? I know you filmed earlier. And you said, don't worry about it. You're not the target. And right. I'm like, huh, I'm right. Not the target. right. Like, <laughs> like, <what are> you? <laughs> one so down. Just, like, to Jacqueline, one down. Yeah. One down. Yeah, That's one down. That's funny. Hey, Kim. Who is it? So we're trying to figure it out. So anyway, Melissa, so then after it happened, when Melissa we don't know what was happening in the bathroom between Teresa and Melissa and all right. that. But when she came right. out and she said, she came out and she said that someone had approached her at the salon and said she was a stripper and all this, that's when it clicked for me. And I was like, yes. Oh, and then someone told me like a week or so later that someone had known a few weeks ahead, yes. you know, ahead that this was going to go down. Yep. But anyway, so I, every step of the way I gave Melissa a heads up. I let her know everything. I know I you did. I tried, you know, whatever I knew I would tell her. She 